um, I want to introduce you guys to um, people who resonate with the work that I do. And uh, I just, I want to start this video off by saying that I felt really, really called to have uh, Sandra and Alan on this uh, broadcast because there's a lot of information that I think they have for everybody right now. And if you haven't heard of them, you really should have heard of them. <laughs> no, not before now, but really they're, right. they're beautiful, wonderful people on this journey that I've met. And I wanted to make an introduction for those of you who don't know. Now, a lot of you may know um, Sandra and Alan. So, but the, what I really want to say is that Sandra and Alan have basically been on decades long journey, starting out <laughs> married um, in the, is it eighties and nineties? You guys were married? Mid eighties. Yeah. We Mid got married 80s. in 1987. Yeah. Right. And then they had some children and then through whatever reasons, you know, you felt that it was time to part and then you got back together. Or you came into communication again in like 2010, right before that big spark hit off for twin flames, mm -hmm. you know, that started connecting. And then yeah. by that magical 2012 you guys were just like okay we got to be together and <laughs> now you've moved into you know this path this amazing beautiful path of um sharing what you have uh through energy and through teachings to others who are either in union it sounds like you're doing a lot of work with union yes. and also for those of us who um are not necessarily in physical union um I felt it was really important to bring you forward at this time for whatever reason. Um, I do want to say for anyone that's tuned in, uh, these guys have a radio show that they do really well with Twin Flames Divine Fire Radio. Is that what it is? Yeah. Twin, Twin Flame Divine Fire Radio Show. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Truth Frequency Network. Our Truth Frequency, Truth Frequency radio. radio. Yeah. TFRlive.com. Right. And so um, I'm going to be putting links below for any of you who want to check out their stuff. Um, and I guess I, I will say that when I first saw like some of your guests that you've had, I probably for the for me, I was like, oh, my gosh, you've interviewed Lee Harris. Oh, my gosh, you've <laughs> interviewed Magenta Pixie. There's a couple of names like and I didn't get to see all of them because right. we just connected as people. And it was like, it wasn't really, I mean, yeah, okay, they got a radio show, but it was more like the energy that we have together. And um, that's really, this stuff is important, of course. Um, but how I feel about you guys in my heart, that's what has the oh. emphasis. So let's dive in. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Those are beautiful words. And, and we really enjoy being with you, Debbie. Oh, we really okay. do. You're just a beautiful soul. And we're so happy that we, got in connection with you well i'll tell you as we're going through this period and we're connecting with those people that we really resonate there's nothing more than that feeling of being home and um yeah you guys have incredible home energy to me and i do sense a lot of like i want to say that divine feminine masculine balance that warm mother father god energy and it's just so pleasant to be around so Thank you. I know. <laughs> you. You are so welcome. Wow. <laughs> so one of the reasons why I wanted to get together and talk a little bit is that why don't you guys talk about some of these energies that have been going on and some of the experiences you've been having um, with those around you and kind of what you're doing right now, you know, in your mission, working with other twins and stuff. Why don't you just between the two of you, you guys just go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hit this major, major shift and it started coming on a couple months ago. And um, we decided it was time to move. We were in New York area. And um, it, what we do is we travel all over the place and we actually come into contact with other twins that are it, they're in union or coming into union and um we just embrace that energy um and assist i'll, I'll call it an assistance yeah that's a good word and there was a major shift that occurred this last friday and um 
it was a huge portal that opened up and we knew that there were people that would start coming to us that we had not heard of before we had watched like um we told debbie we've watched you a long time and yeah. she went really <laughs> i know i was so surprised <laughs> Um, you never know who's watching, watching do you? you? <laughs> Don't, right? <laughs> so we knew it was very important that people realize this is the time when whatever you think, um, you're going to manifest. And it's mm. it, a lot of people are noticing it's instantaneous. It's very quick. Um, and yeah. so we want it to be in the most positive, um, amazing um energy there is and understand that this is where you really step into um a new energy and break the glass ceiling we've all been cycling mm. through trigger events trigger events trigger events and we're like when is it going to stop when is it going to stop um and we're here to say it really never stops but it's not that um you will never be triggered it's how you're triggered are you triggered um every time it comes up re-examine it look at something that you may have missed what you did how you react or respond when you're triggered and we want to get to the point where we respond and do not react and so it's really important that we let people know that's what we do um we're uh, we just love working um, with ones that are yeah. like, I, I know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I, I, I don't know where my twin is. It's really not a concern. Um, it's all about working with you and mm -hmm. as you're working with yeah. you and shifting and, and breaking the glass ceiling, you start to notice these amazing things that unfold around you. And that's what we're all about is recalibration time, folks. Yeah, and that's what, and that's kind of what we call it. It is a recalibration, a reset. Um, part of what we do, you know, I think a lot of folks, especially right now, because 2019 has been such a um, tumultuous year, you know, and and we feel that it's probably been one of the most. Um, I I don't quite know the word to use. It, it's been one of the most um, transforming years ever for us. And it's not just us, though. I mean, we've been hearing that from a lot of people. And, you know, as well as we do, Debbie, whenever you are going through transformations, eventually you get to the point to where you know that after it's over, or it's at least that phase of it is complete, there's going to be something better on the other side. But getting there, that's the tricky part. Because whenever you're going through that kind of transformation, it can be rough. It's it's not just rough, it's painful. Yeah. It's like, we try to explain to people, it's like um, you go into the surgeon and you're gonna have heart surgery and they don't put you under and they open you up and they take your heart out and they put it back in and they sew it up. And then you notice a few weeks, a few months down the road, you're doing the surgery the exact same way again and it reopens the wound and you feel the pain and then they put it back in and it's that, it's trigger events that are occurring that we need to look at on a microscopic level and go, what am I missing? Why am I repeating this? Um, and really take a look at what did we miss? Pay attention to our cycles. What cycle are we in? I'm in my lifetime cycle coming back to Kansas City, Missouri. This is where I was born from in vitro to two That's years old. That's right. That's right. I remember you saying that. Yeah, this is where the yeah. most trauma occurred. And I remembered when we had that, we were in, we are, we can't tell you how much we love the teachers that are out in the spiritual community that are assisting people. And I had yeah. Lee Harris on and I was talking to him and I said, um, it's really funny that I'm coming back to the place of birth. And he just made me bald. He said, you left the wounded traumatized child and you come back the wisdom woman Tells on that. Ooh. and <laughs> so we're noticing that wherever we've left our power or didn't realize that we left a piece of us behind and gave away our power we're returning to what we would call the scene of the crime and <laughs> 
and picking that power back up and saying, no, no more. I, I don't have to yeah. be in this pain. And it, it just warms our hearts when we get to assist people and help them through a lot of the pain that we had to do it the rough way. Back in the day, yeah. there was no such thing as internet. Yes. <laughs> so Do we have running water even? Yeah, we had running water to so I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's really important that people realize right now you see it around you. People are um they're either doing really well in the energy or they're like, I don't understand this. This feels like I'm going back to the very beginning. Right. And yeah we want people to know when you're re when you're recycling back through it's not a bad thing it's for you to rewrite your story right back to i think i actually did i did a video about that rewriting stories or i did an article about that because yeah. that's what i sort of felt was happening as well is a chance to get to we tell ourselves stories and I did a video on that really recently, the stories that we tell ourselves, right? And mm -hmm. it's kind of like, we have to evaluate, are those stories really helpful and try to rewrite exactly. them in ways that are helpful. Even if they're, the best time is to have no story, you know, just let it be, <laughs> no story attached at all. But right. if you can't tell yourself, a, you know, no story at all, then at least tell yourself something that's helpful. Yes, <laughs> right. and it's going to help you. It's going to help you to move Great forward point. because what you think you manifest. Right. Now that could be negative. It could be positive. But um, what we want people to know is there has to be a balance. So a lot of people, yeah. they say, well, I'm going through dark night of souls. Dark night of souls is a must. That's an expansion and contraction. When you hit that contraction, it's time to look at mm. everything you may have missed and understand in the power couple, twin flame couple, whatever you want to call yourself, it's a must to get through all these beliefs and get, get them out. Yes. The beliefs that we've had to shed are many. And crazy and crazy and yeah I mean you know we look back where we were from where we are now you know and granted you know and we realize that we have a long way to go yet and that's fine you know and wherever you are it's fine it's where you're supposed to be but you know there are often times that we sit there and go oh, thank god we don't do that or we don't feel this way or believe that anymore and then we'll sit there and go you know and, and especially during those moments where you are having a rough time Mm -hmm. You know, to think back to that and say, okay, okay, all right. I remember that. All right, not where we want to be, but we're not where we were, and just show the proper gratitude for where you are. I think we have we have moved um, the past eight and a half years that we've been doing this. We have moved at such a fast rate, and we wrote this story this way so that we could help other people. And right. so we have went through some major yeah. upheaval, some major oh, amazing things, and just balancing it out. We, we want the dark to go away and only be light, but we have to balance. It's neutral. Yeah. So it's, it's very important that we understand there's a balancing point, and we must, we must accept the fact that we are light and dark and shine the light into the dark so the dark comes up and we go oh that feels oh like i see you now freedom yeah okay well and i was gonna say when i first met you guys now i'm having that can you hear that technology stuff going on <laughs> do i need to go oh oh um. i think it's just the way my my system set up or something but i i wanted to say that was when i first um spoke with you guys it was right at one of those glass ceiling times for me. And I remember we were talking and you said, would you like an attunement? And I said, sure. You know, I, I was like, what is your attunement about? And you said, hey, let's just get together. And you said something along the lines of, you know, you may go through a purge period or whatever. And do you remember I came in to that, that uh, attunement Boom! Everything came out. The dark Debbie, 
dark daddy was throwing <laughs> headphones across the room. And I had my mother-in-law coming in the house and the dogs barking. And I, I freaked out. Um, but what was really interesting was that I had the opportunity to purge so much of the stuff that was there and then embrace it and be okay within that energy. And then kind of tell me what, what happened after that. Cause I just know that you guys guided me through it. It was so <laughs> fast. I was like, Oh my gosh. Again? <laughs> now, what was that that happened? <laughs> you can tell me really now. <laughs> so uh, we explain it. The recalibration yeah. is not that you're not going to feel the pain. You will, yeah. but what we want to do is calm everything down and, and we use music and then um, our energy together, it, we really cannot explain it. it it's, um, we've yeah. had many people tell us, we can't explain what it is you do. We've never seen people that do what you do, but here's what we have to say about it. Everybody has the capability of doing it. And maybe that's why we're here is to show people you have the capability of recalibrating yourself. Um, yeah. And you just need to understand what it is. And basically we open ourselves up and we bring people in and we say, okay, we've got a 72 hour window. It's, it's um, we call it a bifurcation um, recalibration because everyone has a point where they can't cycle anymore without it driving them absolutely crazy. I mean, we're still in a physical body. We're yeah. still having a physical experience. And so we really need to understand that if we can bring um, people into the energy and say, okay, you're going to have this amazing experience for the next 72 hours. And then after that, um, anything that you're holding on to that doesn't, it doesn't benefit you anymore. It, it will come out. You were one of the lucky ones that was so ready for it, though. As soon as we went into the recalibration, she just let it go. And I think we forget as healers and teachers and whatever we may be doing, we need someone to just let it go to listen to us and say, hey, you're gonna be okay. And and allow whatever's coming up. And, and we have people that have rage they're holding on to. Oh, they yeah. have anger, they have shame, guilt, every gamut of every feeling you can experience. Yeah. And, and they don't know how to let it go in a productive way. And so we just kind of guide them through it. And you can tell the audience better than we can. By the time we were done, it was like, oh, wow, I feel so much better. Well, and, and one of the things that was beautiful about your experience, Debbie, with us was that she didn't care. Yeah. She was just like, I know I'm feeling this way. What do I have to do to get rid of it? And it didn't matter to you. You had the openness to say, just explain to me how I'm going to get through this and I'll do it. And that is to me, 80% of it right there, if not more. They say the little seed of the mustard seed of willingness. Yeah. It's true. Exactly. So I think, I think if people give 10% to an action step, yeah, 10%, then the universe follows suit with the 90%. So we are not in control of this. No. And it takes a lot of faith to step into it and say, okay, I'm going to listen to everything the universe says. And you will reach that point where you're like, okay, my mind is too much in control here. And um, I just think that we forget even all those things we hold on to, they can be released in the most beautiful way. And I wanted to say something about how simple that voice. It's got yeah. this voice around me. <laughs> I wanted to talk about just how simple this process that I went through was with you. Because I think that something that has, maybe this is why I resonate with you guys so much, is that just even who I am as a person it, spirituality has always been very simple for me. It wasn't always easy, 
but it was right. simple. And um, I tried to keep things uncomplicated and actually the higher in vibration I rise or the more in the flow is really what I mean. The more flow I get, the less I, I don't know, it, it's that feeling of being able to allow and let go and I like things simple. I'm always saying, can we just simplify this please? We're trying, right. are we making this too complicated? Let's go to the simplest solution. So that is one of the things that I've noticed that I'm loving about the new energies, <laughs> simplicity. So talk a little bit about that because the attunement that we had together and it was like a together experience. It felt very together. Um, talk about simplicity. Well, we think there are a lot of people we've come in contact with and, and things are really complicated and we're like, what? You know? Well, so, we've been taught that if it's complicated, then it must be better because you're doing more to attain the same thing. So, you know, that's what we've been programmed to believe. The complicated, more complicated it is, the it's it obviously work. better it is, right? Right. right. But ours is, is fairly simple. And yeah. um, Debbie can tell you it took maybe, what, five minutes? Um, but the purging process was a little bit longer than that. Right. But the actual, <laughs> even that long. <laughs> the actual recalibration only takes like five minutes. And mm -hmm. we just, we show you a breathing technique and then we play some music and we tell you to shut your eyes. And it's just like you're going into meditation yeah. and you'll feel this bliss just come over you and we'll pick up on certain things. Um, she will. Yeah. And Alan will feel certain things. So when we when we connect with people, if there's anything that people cannot um, shift through themselves, Alan does it for them. And it's a very um, it's a very humbling experience to turn to your beloved and see him <laughs> weeping or um, really in a lot of pain and know that he knows that's what he's here to do. She experiences from whomever we're working with, the physical aspects, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I get to feel uh, the, the pain, the, the fear, mm -hmm. the sadness, whatever it may be. Yeah, so, so you're someone... dealing with the emotional body and you're dealing with the physical body. So when there's pain involved, when people have um, any kind of illness in their body, I can, I'll, I'll pick up on it. And then Alan is dealing with anything that is leaving a residual energy in your energetic field, in, in your um, pain body. Um, it is just the most beautiful process. And, we, and it's simple. Yeah, very simple. Very simple. We use a piece of secular music. We have a number of them. And we choose the music that we choose because of how it resonates with us. And, you know, we can tell, you know, whether or not this is, and I, I don't know, intention behind the music? Yes. I guess, would you say? And, and there comes a point where it totally just uh, opens up your heart chakra and you literally feel it open up the heart chakra at one point. Yeah. And um, we clear out what we can. And um, you know, we like to refer to it as kind of like Reiki on steroids. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's, it's just using the energy. We have a lot of our people um, that have worked with us that say we're energetic surgeons. So um, we're all about the energy. We're all about the music and, and, and what it can do to yeah. heal. I must stress, this is something that if you learn, you can do. So, Absolutely. And that purging is key. A lot of people say, well, you know, they're in the public eye. And, well, I, ca I can't show emotion. We are mm. um, in alignment. Yeah when we do allow the emotions to come up and purge so whether it's crying whether it's great we've had people scream yeah um oh yeah we've had a lot of things and they're like this doesn't after the three days we will tell you that things will come up and it's things that you have over, maybe overlooked and didn't think you had to deal with anymore and the universe says here it is now observe it and let's get through this 
And yeah. so we're right there with people every step of the way if they need us. That's what it, it's very interesting because my experience yeah. after both of you guys know that stop that noise, extra no, extraterrestrials. <laughs> You got some energy going on here, huh? I'm yeah. Like this. I've even got my titanium bracelet. <laughs> um, when we had the attunement, um, I think a lot of people that follow my work know that I have a digital marketing agency, and this is like my call. This is my calling. Um, but digital marketing is also my calling. So I've got a double calling. And when we met right before this purge that I had, um, I was going, I'm going through a shift in my business. I, I literally am expanding my business and actually in the way I'm doing it, I'm doing it in a way that is actually creatively going to free me up so that I'm not so attached to having to do that all the time. And, um, what I noticed after the attunement was that number one, I guess because I'd had a lot of the purge right before, I went into the flow. And I had situations where my daughter, um, who's a college student at UGA, she basically decided she wanted to take on her uh, political uh, you know, viewpoints and stuff. And I'm like, don't talk about it. <laughs> and uh, because we don't see eye to eye on some things, but I really do try to let her have her own thing. This is your experience and I'm not going to try to change it, but she knows how I feel about certain things. So she can't help but know how I feel about it, even if I don't express it. So she got all upset and I'm going back to school and I'm not coming back here for six months. And I was kind of like, and, and um, my family was like, oh, this is horrible, you know, she was going to spend time with us and blah, blah, blah. And it was so strange because this was a very significant thing that would normally, she is my button presser, all right? <laughs> I have a couple of button pressers. They know who they are. And this is the button pressing that hits me the hardest and moves me the most. And my whole reaction was, I'm really sorry that you feel you have to go back to school. I, that's the last thing that I would have wanted to create. But if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. And I, I just walked away very patiently. And I went back and I sat down to my computer and I thought, okay, I don't want her to go. But if she does, she does. Well, that was a very unusual response. And that's what you were talking about in the very beginning. It's how you respond. Can you maintain that vibration? You can see it's a trigger thing. You know this triggers you. You know but you're in this peaceful place. And you're like, you surrender to it. And you allow yeah. it. And before you know it, she was in her sister's room. And they were talking. And then all of a sudden, she came back down. Mom, what do you want to do for dinner? Blah, blah, blah. So the worst things that you fear, right, from these triggers, going into surrender never even came up. It was never <laughs> even an issue, right? So that was the first thing that I wanted to mention is that when you're in the flow, and that's how I felt, attuning with your energy, and that is what happened. I mean, let me just yeah. spell it out to people who are listening. Sandra and Alan have the most incredible energy. and they just bathe you in their energy. And what you experience is what it feels like to be in union. Okay, let's just come right out and say it. This is union energy. It is balanced energy. And it affected everything, including my very own experience, my own union. It actually affected that. So that all happened. And I guess I was expecting, geez, what's going to happen after this three-day period? <laughs> I'll tell you what's happened in my business. I got four leads today in my digital marketing company. The door has just been opened up. We've got all <laughs> kinds of business starting to move through. I'm handling it well. I'm not flipping out and going, oh my God, I don't think I can. <laughs> that chaotic energy. So yeah. When you are aligning with that union energy, I think you're absolutely right. What is not in, in tune is going to come up and it's going to fight and everything mm -hmm. else. Um, 
but it gives you the experience. It gives you the experience so that you know what you're aiming for. And I think when we all first met up with that person that catalyzed us, excuse me, we had that sense. We knew, oh, this is what it feels like. But let me tell you, you forget really fast. And then it's like, <laughs> what happened, right? Yeah. So sitting in your energy and bathing in your energy was a, just a beautiful blessing for me personally. Aww. I would say anybody that really would like to bathe in the energy of twins that are in union, I highly recommend, um, you know, contact me. I'll get you in contact with these guys because um, during these energies, it's such a pleasant reminder of where we're headed and where we're at. Um, Cause this is the year, this is the year. 2019 is. is a huge year. They're calling it the boomerang year. It's the year that we're kind of like heading back on the right trajectory. And to feel that beautiful energy has been such a blessing to me. And I guess I, I really want anyone to know that if that's something that, that they are interested in, that you're available. So, mm -hmm. yes, and yeah, you held the energy quite well. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did a wonderful job with that, Debbie. We can kind you of, really did. we can kind of determine how the, the bifurcation point went <clears throat> according to how long they hold that, that really good energy. And some of them make it to the 72 hours, yeah. some of them don't, some of them make it months. And it, it just, yeah, it just depends on, are you ready to let some things go and, and just let emotions come up and, and just guide you into this amazing energy and deal with what's there, deal with what's there, you know, it's there and it's talking to you and it wants to be heard. And that's one of the things that you had said is, um, Allowing yourself to be mad. Yes. If you're mad about something, allow yourself to be mad. That mad is a good thing. That it can be a good thing because it's movement, right? It's something that moves something forward. Yeah. And um, there's a lot of anger going on out there. I've seen it. <laughs> and I think if you can do it in a very constructive yeah. and controlled environment, you'll be surprised what it can do. Because what happens when you get angry and you're this light being and you go, but I can't get angry. I've got to stay calm. Oh. Um, what we are aiming right. for is not to force calmness. No. We are aiming for automatic calmness. So when you shove all that anger down and you say, I'm not going to experience this because I am a light being, basically what you're doing is filling yourself up with those things. And when it comes out, it will be far more than anger. It will be, you will be enraged. Yeah. But yeah. if you are, it's still okay it's fine. to do it in yeah. a constructive way and let it up. Yeah. Um, and, and we're told you just can't do that as a spiritual teacher or a uh, being. You can. And it's a good thing to just let it out. That's what I think is funny is that that whole, that whole misconception of keeping your feelings like everything has to be blessing out. I really think that's counterproductive in our teachings. I think that if you encounter people who are like everything has to be just so on um, that influence if I could say one thing to you know if I could say one thing that I if I could ring a bell for someone it would be um that that is that's erroneous teaching teaching that you're always in this space of love and you're always in this space of bliss and calm because it's just not true it's not true no. and people that feel that they have to stay in that state cannot possibly know the balance that they're teaching. So that's something you taught me just in, I remember we were talking, I forget about something, something about anger. And um, yeah. We, we, we tell people, please, please let it out. And what, I mean, we are, this is what we do. So when you're angry, um, there are times when I'll say, okay, you're really holding on to something. Let's let it go. And they're like, but I can't. And you can ask Alan, I will trigger people and mm -hmm. say, okay. Um, you can't or you won't. Do you really want to let this out? Because we can do this and we try to be the most gentle oh, yeah. that we can be. And then 
everybody looks at us when they come out of it and go, wow, wow. You know, it kind of hurt really diving into it. But as we were doing this and, and I come out of it, I feel so much better. And that's what this is about. Make these physical vessels um, ready for what we're going through and what we're going to go through in the future. Right. It doesn't mean that the, the things that we look at are not going to happen. We all have things that happen to us and they are not fun. And, and we do get emotional, but Alan and I are learning as we go further along um, to flow with it. And it doesn't cause the, those triggers are there to trigger you. That's why it's called a trigger so that you'll pay attention and go, what is really going on? It's a shift. It's a shift. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's just a signal. There's something here that needs to shift. That's all. There is no judgment. There's no nothing behind no. it. I don't care no. what it is that you've gone through. If you're holding on to a residual energy <clears throat> that no longer serves you and you feel like it's time to break the glass ceiling, it's time to break this it's glass time. ceiling. If you feel it, it's time. And some people won't resonate with that. Some yeah, people really do. I know. Uh, I do. So I know. I did. That was like, that was it. Oh. <laughs> So the glass ceiling for me was manifesting in my business, like all of the effort and all of the, the focus and the seriousness and not just seriousness, but love of it and focusing on it. And it was like stalled and it was that glass ceiling. I kept saying, why isn't this happening for me? Why isn't this really happening? Because I, I know my talent and I know I'm good at what I do and I've experienced success. Why is this not taking off for that? that particular level was that glass ceiling I want to wrap this up but what I want to wrap this up with is that one of the things that um, Sandra and Alan are going to be doing and I am so excited about this is first of all their radio station they have they, their radio program they've been doing for three years there's a lot of information on there and yeah. as busy as I am, I'm never going to sit down and listen to all your shows. I'm not, I can just say that, but I can say this. They, Sandra and Alan are going to start on YouTube, putting out small segments of their program so that we can hear some of the gems from their programs with different people. Mm -hmm. And if it's something that is really like if I hear this and I'm like, oh, I've got to hear this whole interview, then I can go and I can listen to that whole radio program. So that is something that's coming. And have you guys actually set up your YouTube channel yet? Yes, it's yeah. been set up. Yeah, okay. we've had that set up for some time. At okay. one point, a number, a couple of years ago, um, we were just kind of drawn away from it. And went into bit. seclusion for Yeah, a we just kind of got off YouTube because we just felt that it was time. You know, right. just kind of get away from it for a little bit and that when the time was right to get back into it then we'd know and now we know the time is now so so i'm going to make sure that i put that link down there and and it is going to be building over time i mean you can't take all those amazing episodes and just boom 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 boom, boom. i don't know maybe you can i don't know but, <laughs> but you know so people will know that there's a place where you can go get some bite-sized pieces of you know the amazing conversations that you're having with all people all over the place and you guys work with a lot of twins in union and yes, i think that that's really incredible yeah, you can look at what we're going to be putting out on YouTube. It's kind of like a little spiritual sampler platter. That's what, you know, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so let you know. And I mean, anywhere from folks to, from Lee Harris to Magenta Pixie, down to people who you probably never even heard of, but have a wonderful message. Wow. So I'm we, have, we have a lot of <laughs> twins that come on the show and, yeah. and we've, we've kind of shifted and call them power couples because they work so well together. Yeah. Um, and their yeah. message needs to be out there. I love that yeah. message, power couples. I love that because it is about working in unison. It is about um, common, I, I don't know, it's just about this common energy, no matter what is going on. Uh, it, yeah, it's I, that excites me, that term, power couple, because there's so many people that are really like confused about the twin flame terms and all that stuff. But when you come into union, you really are power couples. And that's a yeah. perfect way to describe it without putting all of these mess, messiah 
kind yeah. of yeah. yeah like the god like oh we're ascended masters because we're twins in union it's not all about that it is literally about being a power couple and and giving a i want to say your way showers for the new loving relationships your examples of it and it's very tangible it's very real it's not artificial it's not no. um like I said, the Messiah kind of thing. It's it's more real than that, but it's it's beautiful and it has so much to offer. Yeah, oh, and we wanted to that. let your your listeners know too if they catch this and they really resonate with it. That um, yeah. normally they could go to our page and and they could have an they could have one of the recalibration attunements and um, a lot of people don't resonate with that. That's okay. That's fine. Um, but we wanted to show our appreciation and say if you do that, there the recalibrations usually will go into an hour with people find out what's going on, mm -hmm. do that, and, yeah, and have a little banter and really get to know the person. And generally, it's around seventy seven dollars an hour. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to drop it to 44 for your people. So, wow. And mind you, I can only do three a day. It's very, it's, it's very taxing it's on the taxing. bodies. Yeah. Um, and so we just wanted to say, if this is something that resonates with you, um, get a hold of us at Twin Flame Divine Fire um, at gmail.com. Yeah, Twin Flame Divine Fire at gmail.com. That's our email. And, and I'll put that down below as well. I'll make sure that it's in the link below. Okay. And this just gives people an opportunity yeah. to say, yeah, you know, I don't know about this. And, and we have that a lot. It, yeah. it doesn't bother us at all. Um, and they come in and go out of it and go, wow, wow. So we're more about people talking about what we do yeah. than ever really well, that, putting that's, it out there. that's where the, the proof of the pudding, if you will, is, is, is what people say after. You know, it's not us talking about it. It's what the people who have experienced it, like yourself, have to say about it. Wow. We don't have to say a word. Yeah. You know. And I love that. I find that so beautiful and so refreshing, honestly. And you know what? That is what makes me want to make sure that people do know about you. Because I know that you're not just advertising yourself all over, you know, look at us and look at what we can do for you at all. Um, it's almost the opposite. And I want to make sure that anyone who knows, you know, who needs something like that or who's just interested in connecting with your work and stuff to know you're there and, uh, and to know how I feel about you. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you so much for and that. And we adore you. Thank you. Yeah, yes. and that platform is there. The yeah. radio show is there for people who are trying to um, really get some things going and they don't know how to let people know. Get a hold of us. We have yeah. all kinds of people on the show. I was going to say, I've had people start reaching out to me to find out about could they be on your show. And of course, we hadn't talked about any of that because our connection has, I don't know, our connection has been to do special, like in my own way of working on my stuff or whatever. I hadn't really even gotten to that place yet. But um, I do want to let people know because a lot of people that listen to my stuff um, know who Rob and Angie are. Rob and Angie mm -hmm. are actually on Twin Flame Divine fire radio what what date is that that's tomorrow that's, um, no no what? next week or is it this saturday no, it's this saturday it's going to be this saturday you're on next week yeah you're right i'm on next week with marla kelly yes yeah and I will take a moment to plug our workshop. <laughs> We're having a workshop in Niagara Falls if you don't know about it. Um, it promises to be an incredible three-day period. Uh, we've got Rob and Angie, we have Marla Kelly, we have myself, and we also have Kalina Malnar. Um, so we're going to be in that wonderful vortex energy, that beautiful energy. It is my home state, like right uh, uh, an hour from where I grew up. It's extremely powerful energy there. So anyone that's listening, if you haven't thought, you know, if you haven't gotten tickets to go or if you've thought about going. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say, and I've said this in a couple of my videos, is if you need to manifest to be there, Ah, works really well. My partner, Chris, and I, we're like, ah, uh, you know, we're awing all the time, which also has something to do with bringing in 
um, abundance and projects and things like that. So you may want to try awing if you've never. <laughs> it may get you to Niagara Falls, right? Yeah. All right. Good. Hey, if it'll get you there, do it. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. But uh, is there anything else you guys want to say before we end this broadcast? No, oh, we're just so no. grateful for you. Yeah, thank you so oh, much for the you. time and the introduction to the folks that, that you deal with as well. And we, we can't thank you enough. Thank, um, thank you. Well, I adore you guys. And I thank you so much for coming on um, and talking with me. And uh, I guess we'll just leave it there. And I'll just say thanks, everybody, for listening. And uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'll just say namaste. 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 All of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you, Debbie. We love you. Bye. Love you too.